Now you can adjust your navigation toolbar in a couple different ways and this is the way that your users will actually be able to navigate between your different site pages. Changing the actual order of how things are listed isn't done on the toolbar, it's done on your pages tab. So for example, if I wanted contacts to come before lessons, I can actually drag contacts above lessons. If I want to change the name of something, so if I wanted lessons to actually be called site lessons, I could actually hit the little menu bar next to the lessons page, hit properties, and name that, and that will change how it's displayed in my toolbar. Now, if you want to change your toolbar appearance, you can do that a couple of different ways. If you hover over your toolbar, you see the little add logo button. I'll talk about that in a second. And if you hit the gear, you can see that you have a navigation tab in your site page. The first thing you can change is where do you want the toolbar to be? So by default, it's at the top of your page like so. You can also move it to the side. Now, it gives you this little three sidebar, this little three line sidebar to actually open up a collapsible toolbar, but that's gonna change based upon the window size. And I'll talk about that in one second. The other thing you can do is you can change the color. So for example, right now it's transparent, so it's kind of hovering over my checkered background, but I can change it to be solid white uh, or solid black. This might make the toolbar more bold or easier to read, especially depending on what color uh, background you have. I'm gonna leave mine transparent because I think the text is pretty easy to read on the checkered background, but again, that could change based on what you're trying to do. Now, if I change this to the side toolbar, right now in my preview window, which is kind of sort of a cropped smaller view of my toolbar, I see this little three drop down, and that opens up this collapsible menu. But if I view this on a larger screen, it's gonna look a little different. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna publish my site, and I'm gonna go ahead and view the published site. And if you're on a screen that's big enough, so for example, I'm on a desktop computer with a rather large monitor, it's automatically showing the toolbar. It's automatically gonna be open here like so. However, if I view it on a smaller screen, so if I actually click and drag my Chrome uh, window here, and if I make my screen smaller, eventually the toolbar will actually collapse into being this collapsible bar. And this is what it's gonna look like on a phone or say a Chromebook, something with a smaller aspect ratio. So the side toolbar will change based upon what the screen size is, while the top toolbar, so if you leave it in the top, it pretty much remains the same no matter what device you're on with the exception of a mobile device. So if I were to change this back to my top, we can see that I have a collapsible sign. Let me just refresh my page here. I have my top toolbar regardless of how large the screen actually is. But again, if you're on the mobile device, no matter what it is, it's gonna be a collapsible toolbar. And a good way to see what that looks like is to hit the preview button and you can see on the mobile device that switches to the collapsible sidebar, even though I have top toolbar selected. The other thing you can do to personalize your toolbar is you can add a logo. So if I hit the add logo, I can upload an image. Uh, so I can upload, say, my digital classroom logo that I have, and it'll go ahead and drop that digital classroom right onto my toolbar, whether it's the side toolbar or the top toolbar. Either way, it places that image like so. The other thing you can do is you can drop in a fave icon. This is actually for when users visit your site in the URL bar. So if I upload, say, the Madison Crest, so if I go to my Google Sites, I should have the Madison Crest here as a little fave icon, like so. If I publish my site, I'll show you what that looks like. Let's go and view our site. The fave icon appears when you bookmark your website. So I've just bookmarked my Google site and you can see that there's the little Madison crest right there next to my Google site virtual workshop in my bookmarks menu. 